Hello and welcome back to Andy Rowland. And welcome to the day where we finally find out what's inside the Hummer EV. But before we get into that, I figure we might as well at least take it out for one little drive, see how fast it goes. And then when we get back to the garage, we'll take it apart. So let's get rolling. All right, you guys, we made it to the first location. So we're gonna go ahead, get the uh, performance analyzer set up. You guys go ahead and hop in the back seat and uh, let's see how fast this thing can go. you guys we made it back to the garage with the hummer ev so i thought i'd talk to you guys a little bit about how it drives honestly there's no suspension that i could see this thing is very very stiff we'll open it up soon and see what's going on inside um, the tires aren't really good for off-road and as you saw we did not go that fast we topped out at three miles per hour this thing is underpowered i'm gonna modify this thing you guys already know we're gonna open this up see what's going on inside and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with it so without further ado, let's go ahead. Actually, before we do that, I wanna put this on the lift. I wanna put this on the lift because I wanna show you guys the, um, the drive modes one more time, or like the steering modes one more time, and the four wheel drive or whatever. So yeah, let's get this on the lift. And after that, we'll open it up. you guys we got the Hummer on the lift but you know what this is YouTube so we have to do unnecessary dramatic things so I think we should park the STO right under the Hummer so if this lift fails we have drama yeah let's do that drama Alrighty guys, let's go through our steering options real quick. See how both wheels are turning in the same direction. Then they can do opposites of each other, which like when you, in this mode, man, that's the handle better than the Hummer in that. Then you can go front wheels only, rear wheel only, which is super cool. Plus, all these wheels got power to them. Yes, sir. I'm telling y'all, this is a cool truck. And not a perfect truck, but it's a cool truck. All right, you guys, I'm about to move the STL back to where it was, get the Hummer back down. Let's open this thing up and see what's inside.
All right, you guys, eight screws later, and we've got the body on the lift. Most of the screws are visible. The only two that you really need to hunt for, they were like in the wheel well, front wheel well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the chassis. Now this was surprising to me, you guys. There's actually a drive line in here. The way this truck is built, I figured that they just did motors front and back, like two drive motors on this, but maybe not. We're gonna find out soon once we get all this stuff taken apart. Upon my first look, I do see two motors in the back. There's only one that's really visible in the front. But yeah, you guys, let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, you guys, my phone over here trying to fall apart. I said I wanted drama, right? I guess I got it. Anywho, I'm gonna try to finish this video for you guys because I don't have another camera to record this with. But um, where was we at? Oh, suspension. So we just took this uh, front tower off. This is what it looks like. And look at this. Look at this spring, you guys. This is. Can you guys see that? That little tiny thing is the front suspension. So I'll go ahead and get to the other side and then the back. I probably won't record it. I'll probably just do it. I'll catch in with you guys or check in with you guys. I'm distracted, man. I can't believe my phone falling apart, you guys. I will check in with you guys once I get the rest of these um, suspension towers apart. Alrighty, you guys, so quick uh, recap on where we are. We got the front LED bar out. The board is out. The rear lights uh, are out. And then we've got the towers off. in each of our corners and that's your suspension for the most part guys it is literally just a tiny spring in all four corners um not really sure what to do about it i think i might cut the tower in half and then put longer springs maybe that'll allow it to have some travel or maybe i will try to 3d print something uh, I don't know. I don't know. A lot to think about. But in the meantime, I think the next thing I should try to do is maybe get these rear wheels off, front wheels off, so we could pull the whole entire drivetrain out as one piece. Let's see if I could get that done. Um, I'll probably do that off camera because I know I'm about to struggle. I will catch up with you guys again once that's done. Okay, you guys, so that was easier than I expected. So I either did that really, really right or really, really wrong. Because honestly, all I did was pull them off. 
pulled them off at the ball joint. And, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Let me show you guys. See, these are the tires that you're working with. And yeah, but that's it. These are the fronts. These are the rears. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and lift this drivetrain out. So now we have the body. The chassis. And the drivetrain all separated. Here is your Hummer EV drivetrain. I think the next step, we're going to go ahead and start disassembling this so we can see what's inside the drivetrain. So along the first uh, set of covers, we got gears and that's for the drive line running from the front to the back, back to the front, whichever way you want to look at it. Gonna go ahead, remove some more screws, and see what else we find in here. Woo! We did it, y'all. We are inside the drivetrain of the Hummer EV. Check this out, you guys. This is the rear section here. Yep, that's what's going on in the back of the drivetrain. Then you have your drive line running to the front. And this is what's going on at the front of the Hummer EV. So I'm going to take some time, think about what to do with this. One more thing you guys, it hit me while I was editing the video. I never took off this cover. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oops, don't mean to do that. Let's take this out. And that's what it looks like for the motor. Alrighty, now until next time, let's keep it rolling.